So are you struggling with client results? You don't know what to try. You're a bit stuck. Maybe you're in the med spa niche. If you're not, then this still applies to you. On dev day, OpenAI came out with a brand new AI model that completely changes the game for every single SMA out there. No guru has ever spoken about this. This is the first video on YouTube that is going to show you exactly how you can actually implement this technology and what this technology actually is. The first thing I'm gonna show you is what it actually does. And then I'm gonna show you how this offer that you're now able to offer for your clients to generate them way better results actually works. And then I'm gonna show you one of my live ad accounts for my clients to show you how this new offer that you're able to give to your clients leads resonates and how much more leverage you get, meaning that you're gonna be able to generate leads and book appointments on a far higher performance rate. And I'm also gonna show you how you can set this up at the end of the video. So with that being said, let's just get into the demo of what this actually is. So I've got the form up on my phone and this obviously could be on your landing page, it could be on you know your website, whatever. Now, when you're advertising this, you're going to be saying, you know, claim your free treatment plan as if you're like some lady struggling with aging, right? For in this use case, at least. So let's say I'm one of these absolutely beautiful ladies and, you know, I come in here, submit the form, whatever. Um, what will happen is that AI using the GPT-4 image preview model, which released on Dev Day, is literally going to be able to analyze this image uh, for signs of aging and recommend the clinic's um, treatments in order to, to solve these problems. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna speed about two minutes before I get this text, and then I'll throw up a screen on face and we'll have a look at the analysis. So we've got our response, let's have a look at it. So it says, Dear Joe, thank you for you know submitting your images. Um, here's a treatment plan. And I'll throw up an image of that lady's face so we can have a look at it um, as we go. So number one, fine lines and wrinkles. You seem to have noticeable expression lines on your forehead and between your brows. I, re I recommend injectables such as Botox um, to tackle these, these, these areas. Now, obviously, it's come up with um, reference knowledge base to injectables, right? Well, with a bit more tweaking, you can, you can just remove that um, in the prompt. Volume loss. This is kind of just showing you that there's the potential to have an analysis. Volume loss, it seems there's been a loss of volume um, around your cheeks, which is true. Um, fillers are an effective solution for restoring volume. Dull skin, um, your skin seems a bit dull and dehydrated. Um, some of these, whatever, skin texture indicates uneven uh, skin texture and visible pores, um, which is true, as you can see on this image. Um, and then it recommends the treatments and then it does a generic kind of like, you know, you need a skincare plan. Um, but do it doesn't stop there. So I can basically ask this AI is like, um, uh, what is the best solution? So basically the AIs come back and be like, the best solution for your skin concerns would be a combination. Botox, hyaluronic acid fillers for volume loss. Um, so basically it knows the the treatments. Um, so let's just say, demonstrate, will my lines get worse? And then just to show you that this does know what it's, what it's looking at, um, what is my main concern? So this is just kind of to demonstrate that this chatbot and image assessment is actually looking at her. So based on the facial image analysis, your main concerns appear to be fine lines and wrinkles on your forehead and between your brows, uh, volume loss on your cheeks, dull dehydrated skin, skin texture with visible pores. So a personal comp consultation. Okay, so now let's say, okay, so now let's say, um, I want to book a consultation. So now it's come back, great to hear, when, when would be a good time to do it? 
to say um, tomorrow at 12 um, p.m. And then boom. So it comes back. It's noted down. This is a confirmation message of the appointment. Um, and as you can see, I'll literally just turn my camera around. So for 12, you know, for 12 p.m., it's booked me in for an appointment. And as you can see here, like, the, this is my ad account for running the offer of free image assessment and treatment plan for my clients. This is one of my clients. And bearing in mind, on the form that we've got running for them, we get three images, their concerns in their own words, and their name, number, and email, and that capture button. So think of the friction of that compared to the lead form. Yet on some of these ads, we're able to get £5 cost per lead. And that's because the value we are providing to the market is equal, or even in some cases more, than the increase in friction on the lead opt-in process. So th and the reason for that is because this offer is so new that it resonates with people. Like if you look at the click-through rates and link click-through rates, I mean, on, in some cases, we're almost getting a 4% click-through rate, um, and you know, a really good um, link click through rate, which basically means that people are clicking on it, they're going to explore the landing page um, and ultimately filling out the, the form. But our average cost per lead for this is £10, which is about $12. So that's the power in running this offer. And you can only, I mean, if you want to see, you know, how I show this to my clients and present this on a sales call and like show them all the faces that we generate through this way, click like up in the corner um, and I'll, that'll take you to a sales call. But what this AI system allows you to do is you can almost start like a SaaS product where you're offering the same thing as what I am and you're able to access these like new um this this new offer for your clients and as everybody says the your effectiveness of your ads comes down to your offer and if you're able to make your clients stand out from their competition by advertising a treatment plan and image assessment your service delivery is just going to be so much easier so when as like now I don't have a media buyer I'm just testing those different creatives but I can literally flood them with really good high quality leads and then with those leads, I can leverage the information of their face and what they need in the booking, like in the appointment booking process by saying, this is going to get worse. I've noticed something on your face that is going to get worse unless you come in for a consultation. Um, and this allows you guys to get access to it. So how do you set this type of, you know, this, this thing up, right? So you create a form like you've just seen on go high level, very easy to do, doesn't really need an explanation. So the form gets submitted. This is the workflow you need. So you're going to add a tag, which is any tag, but you're going to need this for later. And then you're going to have a, a web hook, which basically looks, looks like this. Um, you're going to send the first name, the face, the image of the face and the phone. Um, and what happens is that goes off to Zapier. So basically you're going to come into Zapier and you're going to have a catch hook, which is like that. Um, you know, you're basically going to ignore that. I can't really remember how I set this up, but um, yeah. So you're going to put your, your webhook URL into Zapier and you're going to collect all the data that, that basically they've submitted on the form. So then what's going to happen is you're going to go into OpenAI and you're going to basically do um, an API request um, and this is what it looks like. You're going to have this URL in there. You're going to go put that in there. And now the prompt is now basically OpenAI doesn't like giving out medical personal advice. So the prompt is really, really tricky to actually um, get dialed in. So if you want the prompt in this um, this workflow and you want to, to kind of implement it this whole thing for yourself message me on instagram follow my instagram and i will dm you what prompt i use so then basically this is going to return a response which looks like this is we use chat gpt to basically look at that um, and again uh, we basically give chat gpt a prompt um, and a description of the clinic and the clinic services and when those services are used for what issues. So basically, if the AI notices, OK, they've got fine lines and wrinkles, the knowledge base will have the uh, will have the Botox description, which then has this is what it's made to treat. Right. Again, if you want this prompt here, DM me on Instagram. Um, I'll send it over to you. Um, and then what happens is that this chat GPT thing comes back with a message that is, dear Joe, thank you for sharing this with us. Um, I recommend this. I recommend that. Um, this is what you've got. Right. And then all we do is basically 
update this and go high level and I usually do it as just a random custom field so I've got message one so just create a custom field and go high level and put this reply as that custom field so then what happens is then after the uh, workflow waits for two minutes just to make sure it all goes through what happens is that basically um, because it's quite an unformatted output from ChatGPT to go from Zapier to a custom field, I basically use um, ChatGPT to format this response using line breaks. Um, you know, don't change the content, but make sure it's that so it always sends. And I've tried to remove the knowledge base stuff, but it didn't work. So you just have to find a way to do that. Um, and then I've got the, basically the custom um, field in the chat GPT and then the message is literally just chat GPT response right so then what happens is that after that happens we get chat GPT with another prompt which again message me on Instagram and I'll send you the three prompts over um, to basically analyze the treatment plan and the observations that is um you know made here by the uh ai image preview model and it will analyze it and basically this is a prompt to say like you are an ai assistant like a chatbot um, however, you know that this guy is struggling with this, 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 fine lines, you know, frown lines, whatever. And this could be any for any niche, you know, dental. It could be for this kitchen. They're looking for this type of um, output, put together some kind of renovation plan, whatever. And therefore, what happens is, again, we use that output and put it into another custom field. So once you have allocated that chat GPT output into a custom field what you're going to do and if you want you know advice if you want to if you want to know how to set up all the AI stuff look at my other videos on my channel but come to Capri but set the prompt to be the contacts custom field which is the one that you assigned the chat GPT response to come out to so basically this means the prompt is going to be unique to every single contact it's talking to, which means the AI is set up to um, be specific to the person it's talking to and offer custom recommendations. And obviously you're going to want to put add this tag booking if the contact would like to have a follow up call or book a consultation, whatever it is. Um, and then you can send that to a different AI, which will actually book the appointment. So therefore, you've basically got you're offering your clients leads the ability the ability to get a custom analysis of their face, then applying the clinic's treatments to their their problems on their face, and you can you can leverage that in the follow up process of the SMS messages that go out. And then actually book appointments. So that's this new AI system that came out on Dev Day. And this is what you can implement if you're in the med spa niche. This is exactly what you implement. But if you're in any other niche, you're going to have to innovate on top of it. So basically, Loom destroyed my outro. But if you're looking to implement this offer, um, use the link below and you can kind of get my one to one support and how I'm actually getting clients to be OK with having an offer like this. Um, ultimately, all it is, it's allowing you to run this type of Facebook ad where, you know, you're doing that image assessment, which is killing the game and getting really good results, but without having your own in-house practitioner like I have. So it's allowing you to access that that part of the market, but without needing your own practitioner. Um, but yeah, use that link below if you want my kind of one to one guidance um, or just follow my Instagram for the three prompts. So see you in the next video.